Good morning, everybody, um, or good day, good evening, wherever life finds you at this time of day. We are going to sew the Carry Nation block together. This is block one from the Sampler Sew Along, hosted by Rita's Roost, Mona Dibwood, Awkward Quilter, myself, and Rowena. Okay, so January 8th, was the premiere of the sew along. If you need a little bit more information on sewing it or you missed it, this is the tutorial for you, okay? So on a previous video, we did cut our strips. We cut 16 inch strips, 18 inch strips, and four additional blocks. We are going to sew this together. So what we're gonna do is set this aside for now. And I'm just going to unfold this so you can see the fabric choices. And what we're going to do here is fold right sides together on top of each other, keeping everything as straight as possible, aligning everything up. And I've got some threads there, but that's okay. We're going to do the same for the other. Now this is our strip sets and from this we are going to subcut the blocks that we need. <clears throat> if this is your first time sewing, <clears throat> excuse me, and you're not certain if you can sew and keep the fabric together, you can pin. I'm going to pin this block as an, an example, making sure the fabrics are flush. And we are going to sew a quarter inch seam on our sewing machine. So we're going to move over to the sewing machine and get ready for that. So here we are at the sewing machine. I'm aligning my fabric. Now I do have a guide tape. But a quarter inch from the needle, and mine happens to be marked. But we're just going to go ahead and sew along, keeping our fabrics together, taking this. And since we're here, I am just going to take my other section, put it under my needle, and let my machine do the work for me. Stopping every so often to make sure my fabric hasn't shifted. Just like that, we have our finished pieces. We have our two finished pieces. Let's pop back to the other screen. This is our strips with our quarter inch seam. Some of this thread here. And if you fold it out, if you open it out, you can see that we have two pieces now sewn together on both blocks. We have two pieces sewn together on both blocks. So we are going to take this to the iron and iron the seams flat. We're going to open it up. We are going to press to the dark, and what that means is we are going to make sure that that fold is folded over towards the darker color. So we're just going to fold that over, and we're going to press it to the dark side. And I will be back 
in just a minute after I sew this. You, this is a good opportunity for you to press out your seams. Right, so I'm back, and I hope you had the opportunity to get your strips ironed out, pressing to the dark side. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to make our initial cuts following the directions on the pattern. And we are going to start with our first cut. Let's look at the directions. And so it says with the first cut, we are going to cut the 14 inch strip, but we made it 16 to allow us some, uh, some playroom. And we are going to cut it as the direction state, um, and that is step one, step one. So using our ruler, I'm gonna move this one to the side and we'll deal with that one later. What I am going to do is I'm gonna take a little smidgen off to just give me a nice little straight line to work with. A nice little straight line to work with. And I am finding my horizon line, and I want to line it up as evenly as possible with the seam line, where we ironed over and joined to both. And get that there. So I'm just making myself now. Um, Sometimes that it, sometimes you veered off a little in your sewing the strips together. We're going to make this work, so no fear. Okay, so I've just cut off a little piece like this. I'm going to turn that fabric around so that the fabric is facing opposite of your your dominant cutting hand. And now it calls for us to cut some strips. Cut some strips. And we need four of them. So using the vertical line, we want to get as close. To that one as possible, we're going to make one, two, three, keeping our horizon and our vertical, three, and last one is four. And you're left with a small piece. Okay, we're going to set my ruler aside. Looking at the directions, we're going to move on to step. Two on step two, 
Okay. And what we're essentially going to do is flip our fabrics like this and like this. Okay. So now we have two blocks that look like this. We are going to fold this over with the dark touching the light on both of these. And what we're going to do is nest these corners, these seam lines. And what that simply means is the fold is going on one direction on each side. And that just kind of locks in place and you can feel it. And when you look at it, it is just nicely nested in there. At this point, you can take a pin if you feel comfortable. Or if you are not comfortable with keeping your fabric aligned, you can go ahead and place a few more pins in there. I am a pinner for my intersections. And so I like to keep at least one pin in there to keep those seams nested. So we're going back to the sewing machine and what we're gonna do is take a quarter inch seam down either side. We're gonna take on both blocks. So let's move back to the sewing machine. And here we are. I am just going to my pins out do not run over your pins stop just a little short of your pin because if you run off your over your pins that could actually damage or throw your timing off on your sewing machine and you won't get those nice those nice stitches that you're looking for so that's one i'm gonna walk threads here I'm going to do the same thing, keeping that fabric together. And checking it. Stop in just before my pin, pull it out. Under. We're going to move back to the cutting mat. Now, when you open it up, you should get two blocks that look like this. Okay. And if your, if your seams or your corners do not touch very well, don't worry about it. When it gets quilted, you really will not see it. We're just going to take you through this basic getting this block done. And we're going to strive for perfection later, or we're going to strive for straighter. I should not say perfection. We're going to strive to achieve better blocks, better connected blocks. And that comes with skill and practice. Okay. So we're going to go to the iron and we are going to sew out or iron, press out these seams. Be right back. Okay, so we have our blocks pressed out. We have these beautiful nine, nine inch um, squares, or we have these beautiful squares that we are going to set aside and we are going to work on our next strip. We're going to be a little bit more careful with this strip that is coming up because the, the cuts are just a little bit smaller. And on the instructions, it says, let me look at the instructions here. It's eight segments and we are on step two. So again, I'm gonna take a little chunk of my block just so I can get a nice straight seam or a straight edge to work with. 
And we are going to make eight cuts per the directions. And measure twice because I almost cut that wrong. And at this point, you want to try and not stretch your fabric. We're almost there, halfway point. Six. Seven, and eight, and because we sew those strips a little bit longer, we have an extra little piece that we'll just put away. Okay, so now we have eight pieces. At this point, I'm not taking it to the iron. I'm just going to finger press it, and that's just running your nails across the um, seam so you can have, get some nice flat seams. Just pressing to the dark. So our And we're gonna do exactly the same thing we did with our pink blocks, our first blocks. We are going to make four sets with the dark block alternating each other. And we're going to sew these up at the sewing machine. Again, if you want to pin, and I'm actually going to pin mine on all four black blocks, flipping it over so that the right side to the, the print side of the fabric is touching each other. Okay. Nesting those seams. We are going over to the sewing machine and we are going to do a quarter inch, a quarter inch down each unit. Let's see you at the sewing machine.
All right, so we're back. We should have four units. I am going to cut mine apart. And when we open it, it is going to look like a smaller version of our larger block. Okay, smaller version. And I'm just opening it up and finger pressing it because the blocks are in a dark or a block and a plain square. Okay. So, and I'm looking at this a little upside down. So we are doing it that way where the blocks all make one line. And at this point, we're going to the sewing machine. We are going to flip these over. And so a quarter of an inch seam down each side. So I'll see you at the sewing machine. Okay, so here we are. We still have four units. I'm going to cut mine apart. And you can see that I didn't sew very straight on that one, which is not a problem. We are going to make it work. I'm just going to open these up, finger press it down, finger press it down. And we are going to complete our box. So we are going to pair them together and we are going to sew our blocks. And I want to make sure that that is correct in the camera. We are going to sew our blocks like that where everything is still touching together or going in a diagonal. We're going to flip that onto itself, flip that onto itself. I am going to put a pin right there where I need to nest both blocks on those seams. Then I'm going to go ahead and take a quarter of an inch. So a quarter of an inch strip down. So we'll go right back to the sewing machine.
Okay, so now we should have two units that look like this. Two units that look exactly the same. We are going to stop and take this to the iron, um, ironing station and go ahead and press out those seams nice and flat at this time. Just pressing on it, not ironing it, not stretching it. And we will be right back. Okay, so we are almost on the home stretch. We are now going to assemble our blocks together. So we are going to take the first set of blocks that we made, which is my pink blocks. I think it was the, um, what did I say my pink block was? My pink block was the what is gold in the, in the pattern. So now the instructions say that we are going to line this up into a square with the white portion facing out. And I'm just going to make sure I have this right. So we're going to go white color, white color. And then we're going to want a white to touch that, but we're going to want... Our other piece block, and you see my, my block isn't perfect. My block is definitely not perfect, and that is fine. This is our first block. We are working this together, and I am going to place this one like that. So we have alternating blocks. We have the, we have the white, pink, and I don't know if you can see it, white, pink white color okay mm -hmm. what we're going to do now is fold these over again we're going to fold fabric touching each other we're going to take another quarter inch seam we're going to sew another quarter inch line we're going to nest those seams together i'm going to pin right there right there and you may have to just kind of play with those those seams to get them to lie flat but we are going back to the sew machine and sewing these up Okay, so now we have our final two pieces. And if you notice, I still have mine um, threaded together. I did not cut my thread, but if you did, that's okay. We are going to fold it over and fold it over. So we have two blocks that now, or two units that now look like this. 
we are going to take this is going to be our final our final scene or sew line so we are going to take it fold it over and now we have several blocks that are touching each other and i am just going to pin on those blocks to keep them nice and nested together feeling for it and you can tell because it will actually feel smooth like there is not a additional thickness so nest it together we're going to take it again to the sewing machine final time at the sewing machine i'll meet you there And here we are. Open up your block and you have the Carry Nation block. You just want to do one final press and then let me go press that out for a second. Why don't you take a minute to press yours and we'll see you right back. Okay, so we're back. This is our finished block. Our finished block. And I want to point out something to you is that my points are just a little off on this one. But this is our first block and um, we're just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to be satisfied with that. Say it's good as we get some practice your blocks will begin to look better, but I'm leaving it. So there we go. And then after we have completed all our blocks, and I normally like to wait to trim my blocks down all at one time. So that way some, some fabric has a tendency to shed. And I just leave that there so that way when I trim it down, I'm ready to sew it together. This block is supposed to be 12 and a half inches. And it is 12 and a half inches using my 12 and a half inch ruler. So there won't be too much trimming down, but I will be trimming those loose threads. But I'm going to leave it in the state that it is until I've completed all 20 blocks. And... That is it. That is your Carry Nation block. And I hope that you have fun. Try it. We'll see you next time on the next so long. Thank you. Be blessed. Be kind. Bye.